Hello and welcome to another free code session. My name is Jason Bach and last episode we realized we had some work to do. So a couple of these things I think are going to be easy-ish like some of the stuff in here. Some of them are going to be a little bit harder to figure out. So like this one with the name. So let's start with this. So the first thing is the signature does not need these things. So property uh, Hello, there we go, property, symbol signature. This doesn't need the accessor, so we can get rid of that and take that out. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, the interface, yeah, these can just be this. And I also know that I can change these to, actually, where is it? Static cast property builders. So both in the getter, we don't need to do this. This can just be, because we'll never collide with a name. So we can get rid of these, okay? This will just be target method. Result variable will just be result. Now return value from vacation. This will just be result because we don't need these anymore. Okay. Good. Same thing here. We don't need to, don't need these, don't need that. Target method variable can just be target method. And we don't need a result variable. Why are these not coming up as being needed? I don't know why, but that gets rid of that. Okay. And so now if we come back to our test here, this will just be result. And these just that, 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 and that, okay? So I think that gets rid of those things. I think here, no, that was right. There was something with the spacing on one of these. The return default. No, that should be right. Unless here we didn't... Yeah, too much. Is there too much here? Yeah, too much. You can never have enough except when you have too much. Okay, that takes care of those, I believe. So I think we've pretty much cleaned up those. Okay, so let's run the test again and let's see what we get. It failed. While I was failing, I was going through my head saying in a source generator, Whenever you want to create a variable name, it's not even just the parameters. You could be changing a parameter name that will, or you can have parameter names that will say my variable should now be this, which, well, unless, could you ever have another variable that you've created that could somehow now be a, a conflict with one that you generated? <laughs> it could get really odd. But anyway, might be a nice thing to do. So let's grab all this, come over here. Okay, so we still got this problem with the uh, um, methods that are coming through for the properties, but we'll get to that. What is the problem here? Oh, do we not have in the test the right amount of space here? No, we don't. Okay, so that, that's an easy fix. We do that. Oh, we actually are doing return default. Okay, and should this, yes, that's good. Okay, and then set, ah, uh, yes, we do need a, oh. We, th okay, maybe I missed that. Yes, I did. 
we need that there. Okay, so it takes care of that, so that's good. Run it again, and let's see what happens. Still fails, but not entirely unexpected. Turns, huh. So it did do the lowercase s, but it does do an uppercase s there. Or lowercase, whatever. Um, so here we are missing, ah, yes that and so this becomes that that should fix that right yes because it was lower than that and I think now now we should be just the other methods and that's probably going to take more investigation Okay, so we're here, copied all this, and yeah, we are now kind of screwed <laughs> because we need to figure out how do we not generate these methods because these are methods that are, it's weird because this is from the compiler. So the compiler already thinks there are two methods called set underscore name and get underscore name. And we want to avoid those. Now, how we avoid those Wow, I, that's actually probably coming from, if I go through the static hash generator, this is just saying methods to generate and yes, yeah, so this isn't static hash information. So we get the methods and we get the properties. Okay, so here, let's get rid of all breakpoints, come back to our test, run it under the bugger. Okay. So now, static abstract, we do this. Well, well, now you're evaluating an expression because of reasons, because that takes time, apparently. Oh God. <laughs> okay, so we have a method here and Oh, God. Why does this act so weird when you're debugging Roslyn code? It's just kind of bizarre to me. What is this? Can you tell me? Are you going to take forever to find out? Jeez. How is this always so hard to do? I don't get it. I don't know why it's like it's so screwy. So it's a method kind of property get. So I'm guessing if I said, let's go here and say method, oh God, method dot method kind. What is that? It's a property get. And if I also said method dot name, what is that? Get name. So I think this actually just solved our our problem. If I come here and let's stop. What we want to get here is methods that are static and abstract and where it's not the method kind is equal to what is this? Oh no 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 no. We want to say and this method kind is not equal to method kind property. I'm assuming yeah, ordinary is what we're usually getting. And so we definitely do not want to get a property get um, and either method kind is or method kind does not equal property set. There. Okay. And these are just getting properties, so we don't care about that. No, I do not want to take your survey about debugging performance because you would not like to hear it. <laughs> so, okay. So now let's see how close we are. Still failed. Why did it fail? Is this? Yeah. Okay. You still are coming up with these. Why? 
That shouldn't have happened. Stack has information. Because we're saying here, here we're getting properties, we're not getting methods. That, that kind of surprised me. I thought that that would not, I thought we we're gonna get success. I just realized. <laughs> I just realized, yeah, if I say method, I want to say, is it static? Is it abstract? And the method kind cannot equal property get. Oh, that's, it cannot equal property get and it cannot equal property set, right? Here's the Boolean logic, short circuiting in my brain. Or what I could say is I just want ordinary. Right, I, why? I guess. What kind? What kind of kind do I really want to be kind to? I don't know. But we definitely don't want it if it's property you get, and we definitely don't want to get it if it's property set. So I think that's the problem here is that it needs to be this, and so then we can just do that and that because those are unnecessary. Yeah, it's static and abstract, and it's not a property get, and it's not a property set. Because if it is a property set, then yeah, that should now, <laughs> didn't I just say that? Should work? Now it should definitely, definitely work. Still failed. See, now this is different. At some point we might get something where it's like, yeah, it's just not. And updated documents contains one document. So now it's a little different. Now we're actually into a different world here. So let's make sure that, yes I do, okay. Run this under the debugger and see what is breaking. Because usually when that happens, it means you had an error somewhere that you didn't expect. Well, <laughs> that doesn't help. I don't want you to go there. I want you to, first of all, let's make sure that you're actually getting into these, and then you actually, so we say, get methods, get properties. Those always were set to new dictionaries and new lists, so that shouldn't be a problem. Well, let's see what we are breaking. It's, it's gotta be something, because we, we definitely have a property. That should be showing up. So we should get no methods. And we don't. And we get one property, right? Yep, yep. Oh, because we do it twice. Okay, that's why we're going through this. I was like, why are we doing this again? Yeah, that's fine. Should get no methods. Should get one property which we did. So we come down here, we say diagnostics, methods. That's zero, that's one, correct. We don't have any diagnostics, whoa, oh! See, if that's greater than zero or information, properties to generate count is greater than zero. If one or the other, we need to generate some code. Take a drink. How many times do I say it? You gotta have tests. And it passed. And it passed. Now I got a decision to make. Do I stop the episode here right now or do I try to show some triumph with the integration tests? I have a lot to change with the unit tests because we no longer are returning units. So a lot of things are gonna break there. Then when I go into the integration tests, a lot of stuff is gonna break there as well. So it's a Sunday night and I'm really not that keen on doing a lot of work changing, but we're gonna do this. We're gonna say git commander stash, because I don't wanna lose this. Six, finally got a test to pass generating a property and had to remove the bool return type 
concept as well to be consistent with properties and methods there. So we'll say commit, push, and we're good. So what I'm going to do off camera is get all the tests cleaned up, um, both the unit tests and the integration tests. And then the last thing I do, I want to do is play with in set a cast for now is I do need to say, let's consider using async local to tell you if the method was called or not. Maybe a bad idea, but we'll consider it. I don't want to at least lose that. Always put it on your backlog. Always put ideas on your backlog. So, but I do want the, the last one that's going to be done here, at least for 2.0 or 0 0.2 is, if I look at this, is also this generating code idea. You know, is it, does it just work better if you could generate the code on disk, but then you ignore it from your, your Git repository so you don't have to commit it there? And yeah, you have code there, but, you know, is it okay that you could clean it up or not? I'm just finding it to be a little bit of a pain that sometimes when you restart a project, it's the code's not there. And so is it actually better to try this or not? I don't know. But in any event, I'm going to stop for right now. So made, definitely made progress on this. I think we're really, really, really close. And hopefully this should be done rather quickly. So thank you all for watching. Leave comments and questions below. See you in the next episode.